Shalom. First and foremost, call her Lord Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakai Kadash, double honors to the elders and apostles of the Great Millstone. Peace, blessings, salutations also going to the hopeful elect, Tabernacle of David. All right. So I just want to jump into these three articles I got here real quick, which is breaking news, pressing, you know, serious, man. So um, the first article here, it says it'll wipe out every dollar in the world. New crash fears as 80 trillion goes missing. And the article says this warning does not come from some headline grabbing doomsayer, but arguably the most respectable financial body of all, the Bank of International Settlements, or the BIS. This is a body of central bankers based in Basel, Switzerland. And we know who else is uh, based out of Switzerland. Your man Klaus Schwab, the World Economic Forum. Okay. Now, you just read the title of this article. It says, 80 trillion goes missing. Now, how the hell... Can you have a whole system in place that all, all of a sudden $80 trillion goes missing? That's not like you lost $500 or you misplaced your wallet. Nah, we're talking about $80 trillion. That's an insane amount of money. That's like, it's crazy. And then, you know, the thing about it is that these, all these world, uh, these um, world elite bankers, Combined all together, they have way more than 80 trillion. I think the estimated figure of their net worth of these uh, world banking families is around 500 to 600 trillion dollars, man. See, so they got all the money, but all of a sudden now the world is about to crash. They tell you that the dollar is about to be wiped out, which we've been telling you this already that they're trying to do away with the dollar. That's why they have these digital payments out. That's why they're slowly moving into this digital system. Central bank digital currency, the RFID microchip, which is going to be the means of how they're going to institute the central bank digital currency through the chip. Because all your information is going to be on the chip. Your banking information, uh, if you work, you're going to get paid through the chip. Your, your, your health and, uh, you know, medical information is going to be on there. So as we tell you, this is the next wave, all right? The fourth industrial revolution, merging man with machine, putting the, uh, you, you know, technology, the biotechnology inside of you. So that now you're part machine as well. That's what Elon Musk is trying to do with this whole Neuralink brain chip. They trying to make you part robot, man. They trying to make you part, you know, they 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 they're trying to take away your uh your uh full sense of of being a human being. They trying to make you like a like 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 a cyborg, you know, like half half human or whatever, mostly part human but then you're part machine as well. And your man Klaus Schwab came out and said this. That we are trying to move into the fourth industrial revolution. We will make man with machine. Okay, this man came out and told you that. So these devils ain't playing, man. All right, we keep telling you that the MOTB, the mark, as it pertains to Revelation 13 and 16, is the RFID microchip. Everything is moving in that direction. All right. Everything is moving in that direction. And if you're going to want to be a part of this man's system, a part of the B system, you're going to have to take his chip. You're going to have to take his Neuralink or take his uh, hand implant. That's the way it's going to be. And it's, it's you know, it's, it's plain to see. It says here, BIS is known as the central banker's banker. An umbrella body for August institutions such as the Bank of England, U.S. Federal Reserve, and European Central Bank. Once again, they're going towards that central bank CDC digital currency. All right? As researchers can predict financial crises, 
three years in advance using machine learning to aggregate predictions from different models and that's and that's bs man how the hell did you know they like to come out and tell you oh yeah well we can predict that this is coming no that's not no prediction you devils already know what's gonna happen because you're gonna cause it you're you're, you're gonna cause it to happen so of course you know that it's coming so they playing on people's ignorance man you know they'll never come out and tell you that yeah we've been planning this for years and we're finally now is the right time to to bring these things into effect because he ultimately according to the scriptures man this devil knows that he has a short time so he got to hurry up and try to fulfill that nwo but really all he's doing is speeding up his own destruction don't the scriptures say that the deceived and the deceiver are his now they are warning of a crash the scale of which we never have never seen before with a staggering 80 trillion at stake and don't the scriptures also say in the book of uh, 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 Jeremiah 30 that the times coming upon the earth roughly paraphrasing are going to be a time that have never been seen before and shall never be seen again even the time of, of Jacob's trouble and we're going we're going to get it okay but they saying 80 trillion is at stake or 65 trillion euros to put that into perspective the global financial crisis was triggered by the collapse of Wall Street investment bank Lehman Brothers in September 2008 that was the largest corporate bankruptcy in US history but its debts totaled just 619 billion that is less than 1% of the sums at stake today <laughs> so you see that 619 ain't even 1% of 80 trillion. So that, you know, just to let you know how big of a collapse that they're projecting this this to be. I did right, listen man, this this uh financial this this great reset that these devils are about to put in, into effect, this is going to change the world. Okay, th th this is going to change life as you know it. The old system is going to be done. You're going to have to get down with the new system. So that's why we tell you, brothers and sisters, man, you know, you you know, you have to prepare yourself spiritually for what's coming, because this is the hour of temptation that we're coming into. OK, this these, uh, you know, devils are going to tempt you with with uh, his uh, mark. And Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai is going to allow you to be tempted. All right, he's going to allow you to be tempted. He's going to allow the devil to tempt you to see who you truly serve. Do, do you serve Esau, Edom? Do you serve Satan or do you serve Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Shai? It's going to be a clear decision that you're going to have to make. It ain't going to be no gray area. In the times we coming into, it's going to be either you hot or you cold. That's it. says it is yet another sign that global finance has got far too big for its boots leaving the world at its mercy millions of pensioners could miss out on this cash boost with 400 euros as they do not know they are eligible as the cost of living crisis continues britons on low incomes are urged to claim all the benefits they are entitled to as it could be vital in the upcoming months so they're telling people to carnally prepare. All right, but on the right hand side, we're telling our people to spiritually prepare for what's about to come. All right, because you got to be built up in Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. And if you're not, you're going to fold to this devil's uh, advances. Okay, because when you're hungry, you're going to go down to Egypt for help. You're going to go to the oppressor for help. You're going to go to Esau to get relief. Feed me, Esau. Shelter me, Esau. Clothe me, Esau. I can't hold out. I can't. I can't endure until the Lord come. That's why the scriptures say, "Woe unto them that go down into Egypt for help." All right, because you're gonna look to, to to Pharaoh, which modern day Pharaoh is the so-called white man, Esau Edom. Our people gonna look to this devil 
for the solution to their problems. Not even knowing that this hour of temptation is not even going to be that long. That's why it's called the hour of temptation. Yeah, you're going to have to go through it, but it's not like it's going to be some long, drawn out time period in which, you know, this is going to be life as you know it. Nah, man, this thing is going to happen for a short period of time to test and try those upon the earth. Right? That's why the scriptures say uh, salvation, those that endure to the end, the same shall be saved. So you got to endure to the end. You have to endure the hour of temptation. You have to endure the MOTB. You might even have to endure hunger and even possibly death. All right. But either way, you got to endure. That's why you got to build yourself up spiritually. Let's jump here to this. Best Life article says all the food shortages coming to grocery stores soon, experts predict. And once again, going into the famine that we always speak about. You know, sound like a broken record. Keep speaking about food shortages and famine and all this and that. But we, we, you know, we always bring it out because it's a recurring thing. You keep hearing about it. It keeps coming up. And every time you hear about it, the news gets worse. It doesn't get better. Every time you hear about empty shelves and um, uh, supply chain breaking down, this and that, it's always worse news than before. All right. So. Going into this, it says, from toilet paper to cleaning supplies, shoppers were rocked by major shortages in 2020 as a result of the pandemic and everything that came with it. And what's about to come, that's that's going to make 2020 look like a walk in the park, okay? Because what's coming, because eventually they restocked the shelves. And in 2020, there, there, there was a food on the shelves. The main thing was that hey, you couldn't buy no toilet paper. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You couldn't buy no paper towels. All that was gone. You can't get no Clorox bleach. All that was gone. But food was still there. You could still visually see food. But what's coming, it ain't going to be no food. Okay? The, the, the evil arrows of famine that the Lord is going to send upon the land to afflict and scourge the wicked. All right? Says supply supply chain issues have continued, some with major consequences. Now, many experts are warning that we should prepare ourselves for several food shortages in the not too distant future. Read on to find out what you might be able to find at your local grocery store. So this thing about to be serious, all right? Hold on, let's, let's jump here real quick. Let's get some more out of this. It says one of the foods most affected by weather extremes in 2022 is rice. The Sacramento Valley of California is one of just four regions that produced almost the entire U.S. crop. California is the main producer of both medium grain rice and short grain rice, according to the USDA. But as the USDA reported, the western part of the U.S. experienced the worst mega drought in 1,200 years. <laughs> so these, the, you know, the, these are things of quote-unquote biblical proportions, man. All right, and that's the Lord bringing them plagues upon the land, plague in Egypt. And it had a serious impact on farming in California. Roughly 7% of California's crops were not planted in 2022 because there was a lack of water for irrigation. Rice was the hardest hit crop because it relies on groundwater, resulting in more than half of the state's rice acres going unplanted. See, so, hey. <laughs> Suddenly, the, the, the um, empty storehouses shall be found empty. Second Ezra 6 and 22. And we're going to start at 19. And we'll begin to make inquisition of them what they be that have hurt unjustly with their unrighteousness. And when the affliction of Sion shall be fulfilled, which we're coming into that time now where our affliction is to be fulfilled. And right, which our affliction is going to come to a fulfillment. And when the world that shall begin to vanish away shall be finished, 
Then will I show these tokens. The books shall be opened before the firmament, and they shall see all together. And the children of a year old shall speak with their voices. The women which Slakia. The women with child shall bring forth untimely children of three or four months old, and they shall live and be raised up. And suddenly shall the sown places appear unsown. The full storehouses shall suddenly be found empty. And what is this article dealing with? All the food shortages coming to grocery stores soon. <laughs> you see? Empty store shelves. The full storehouses suddenly shall be found empty. You're going to go to your local Kroger or Publix. Alright? And there ain't going to be no food there. It ain't going to be no food there, man. Okay? It's going to be gone. Jeremiah 30 and 7. Well, we start at 30 and 4. And these are the words that the Lord spake concerning Israel and concerning Judah. For thus saith the Lord, We have heard a voice of trembling, of fear, and not of peace. And ye know and see whether a man doth travail with child. Wherefore do I see every man with his hands on his loins as a woman in travail? And all faces are turned into paleness. So the time that's coming upon the earth, you're going to see men with their hands on their hips. Like a woman that's in travail with a child. Okay, that's how crucial that it's going to be out here. All right, you're going to see men that's going to turn to women in that day. And, and, and hey, these things are, are, are coming very, very soon. All right, so that's, that should let you know. You're going to see... The, the, you know, hardest, you know, toughest Jake, <laughs> you know, biggest, strongest, muscle bound Jake, man, with, with, with his hands on his loins, like, like, like a woman, you know, crying, I'm hungry, man, I just want to eat, hey, you're going to see, you're going to see it, man, all right, you're going to see the look, you're going to see the countenance on these people's faces change when that affliction, when that scourge comes, okay, Hence why it says, and all faces are turned into paleness. All right. Alas, for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. All right. So the time we're coming into, it's going to be like a time that has never been seen before and shall never be seen again when it's all said and done. Even the time of Jacob's trouble. All right. Let's get this last article here. It says Jamaica declares widespread state of emergency to fight violent crime. And there's all kind of violence going on around the earth. I just made a post earlier in which um, this gas station in Philly. This gas station in Philly is actually hired armed guards with AR-15s to stand out front. And guard the gas station because the violence in Philly is so high. And through the spirit, you know, even going back years, you know what I'm saying? Brother's been talking about, hey, when these prophecies come to pass, you're not going to be able to just go to the store or go to the gas station or just go to these places without having problems. Because you have to understand that when society breaks down to a certain degree, all rational thought, compassion. Hey, the scriptures tell you that in the last days, the love of many shall wax cold. So what do you think that's dealing with, man? Hey, that's, that's going to let you know that people are not going to have no compassion. They're not going to care if you young, old, woman, man. They're not going to give a damn. If they feel like they can get something out of you or they can let their frustration out on you, then they're going to do it. And like you have going on in Illinois come January 1st, man, they're not going to be prosecuting no type of crimes. And these devils set that up that way because they know what's about to happen. They know combined with the high inflation, hyperinflation that's to come, lack of food, people getting laid off of their jobs, right? They know with all of these conditions combined that that's going to lead to what? Violence, death. They know this. So they, that's why they put these laws in place to say, okay, 
we know that this is going to happen based on what we have projected, based off of what we set up to happen in the future. So when these things do come to pass, we're going to take the laws off the books. We're going to take the police off the streets. We're going to allow these people to kill each other, to afflict each other. Because according to the Georgia Guidestones, which they've now blown up, they want to maintain uh, they want to maintain humanity below 500 million. And that's total populace on the earth. And they already started that with the juicy juice. If you know what I'm talking about. Okay. So this devil Esau Edom. He got these people set up in a trick bag. Alright. And, and you know the source of the violence. The source of the, of, uh, the hunger. Of the uncertainty. The source of the wickedness in the earth is the wicked himself. Which is none other than Esau, Edom, the so-called white man. So when you go back and you look at all the problems that's going on in the earth. Why is there so much plastic in the ocean? Why is there a hole in the ozone layer? Why have multiple species of animals gone extinct? Why, why is the murder rate so high? Why are there so many diseases? Why, why are you know children confused about their gender? Why are there so many moles running around, man? Why, why is degeneracy at an all-time high? Well, guess what? It all goes back to the source, okay? It all goes back to the people that push this vibration upon the earth, which is the wicked, okay? So, yeah, man, mass violence is going on within the earth. And in the time to come, the things you're going to see, it's going to be hellish conditions. we already in hell, but it, hey, it's going to go to another level of hell. All right. So Jamaica declares widespread state of emergency to fight violent crime. A widespread state of emergency has been declared across Jamaica to fight violent crime. The island nation's prime minister, Andrew Holness, said in a public address on Wednesday, all Jamaicans should be able to enjoy the Christmas season free from the threat of violence. We have some really serious criminal threats facing us and we have to use all the powers at our disposal, Holman said. The state of emergency will be enforced in nine of Jamaica's 14 parishes, including Clarendon, St. Catherine, Westmoreland, Hanover, and parts of Kingston, St. Andrew, St. Anne, and St. James, which encompasses the popular tourist destination Montego Bay. So what's going on in Jamaica and many of these other countries, man, it's, it's, uh, it's going to be hellish conditions, okay? It says, we have to ensure that our homicide rate and the level of violence that citizens experience on a daily basis does not get to the point where it threatens to collapse the state, Honus added in his address. But you know what? They don't want that to happen, but it's going to happen. Okay, everywhere is going to collapse, man. Why? Because this is the Most High's will. Because the kingdoms of this earth have to be broken down. Okay, hell has to come. This is the hour of temptation that we're dealing with. Jamaica has one of the highest murder rates in the Caribbean per 100,000 people. Previously imposed an SOE over several areas across the island on November 15th, but it ended on November 29th after it failed to pass a Senate vote to have it extended and once again they say Jamaica has one of the highest murder rates in the Caribbean per 100,000 people now you have to ask the question why is the murder rate so high in these Caribbean nations why is the murder rate so high in the world period who pushes the the the, the vibration of murder hmm when you look at the youth now pretty much all the youth that listen to 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 rap music now all you know pretty much i'm not saying it's not positive rap out there but people really don't want to hear that because the vibration like really what's cool is being a stepper is it, it, you know having a having a nine double m having an ar-15 having a draco going out and shooting up some niggas man like that's that's the wave you know what i'm saying so with esau pushing that vibration in the music paying these artists to push that death that that death vibration 
Now everybody's going to be on it. Everybody want to be a killer. You see? And yeah, you can say that Jake is, is uh, the face of it. But yeah, but these niggas have, have, have clearly sold out their own people. To get riches, to get money, to get clout. But who's behind them? What's the machine pushing this this, this uh, vibration? Well, it's the small hat. Who owns these these record labels? Who owns these uh, uh, uh um you know broadcasting networks, man? Who has the money to fund and push this death style on the people? Because our people wasn't killing each other like that. 20, 30, 40, 50 years ago. Especially not in uh, Jamaica. I'm not saying it wasn't killing going on. But now, it's at the point now to where they about to declare a state of emergency in Jamaica for all the violence that's going on. And yeah, you can say, yeah, well, our people have to do better. And yeah, that's true. That is true. But look at the conditions. Jake didn't get over here by himself. Okay, Jake didn't bring himself to Jamaica and uh, America in Brazil, in, in Haiti, in Trinidad. Jake, Jake ain't come over here voluntarily. We know who brought us here. And we live in a system. Because, check it out, right? If Esau really wanted the violence to stop, then he would crack down on all these niggas in the street, just like he cracked down on the Black Panthers, just like he cracked down on... Uh, the nation of Islam, like he cracked down on JFK. If 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 Esau really wanted the violence to stop, that he would have really declared war like he did, like the war on drugs. He would Esau would have done that, but he don't want the violence to stop. He wants the violence to continue, especially amongst the Israelites. That's what this devil wants, man. And once again, going back to the Georgia Godstones, this all aids. Their, their, their plan of, of maintaining humanity below 500 million. P A for, for, for this devil to have his NWO, many people have to die. See? But yeah, we, we are not ignorant of Satan's devices. We, we, we see and know exactly what this devil got going on. Second Ezra 15. And 11, but I will bring them with a mighty hand and a stretched out arm and smite Egypt with plagues as before and will destroy the land thereof. Egypt shall mourn and the foundation of it shall be smitten with the plague and punishment that Yahweh shall bring upon it. They that till the ground shall mourn for their seed shall fail through the blasting and hell and with fearful constellation. So the most high is bringing these plagues. Okay. That's why you have a lot of these farmers that's overseas. They complaining about their, their um, crops not growing and what little crops that they can grow. Their their um, home governments are telling them that they can't do it no more because, oh, it's, it's uh, too much carbon buildup. You having cows and, and sheep and, and swine, which, you know, swine is going off. But, you know, that's what... That, that's the kind of livestock that they have. They said you can't keep animals because they use up too much carbon. <laughs> you see? Woe to the world and them that dwell therein for the sword and their destruction draweth nigh. And one people shall stand up and fight against another and swords in their hands. For there shall be sedition among men and invading one another. They shall not regard their kings nor princes. And the course of their actions shall stand in their power, and a, a man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able. And part of the reason for that is because of the violence, okay? All of the killing that's going to be going on. Life is going to be very, very, very uh, bleak and uncertain in the time to come. And that's why we need Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, okay? Second Ezra 6 and uh, 24, at that time shall friends fight one against another like enemies. And the earth shall stand in fear with those that dwell therein. The springs of the fountains shall stand still, and in three hours they shall not run. Whosoever remaineth from all these that I have told thee shall escape, and see my salvation in the end of your world.
and Khan. All right, so these, these things are coming. See? You see in Jamaica declare it is a hey, come January 1st, the state of Illinois is going to declare a widespread state of emergency. California is going to follow New York. In most of these major urban cities, you're going to see this same very decree go out. Because of the conditions that it is, it is going to induce the violence. Okay? So I'm going to go ahead and end it right there. just wanted to jump into them couple articles real quick. Hopefully it was edifying. In closing, call Lord Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rakakadash. Until next time, Shalom to the elect, come Yashallah, DTA, and Abad Baba. Come back again, Shalom.